Really great to be here at Best Life to understand how families from the ground up are giving their kids the best possible lives with the support of the National Disability Insurance Scheme. Today I've heard an exciting proposal of making sure that kids with a disability are supported in their school years to learn some of the skills of independent living and it's pretty fantastic to see it and fingers crossed that the Queensland budget can deliver some further support to Helena's house where we can train kids and train their support workers in the skills of encouraging young Australians to have a more independent life. But this initiative is being supported at the national level by last Tuesday's budget. The NDIS is here to stay. We want to make sure, however, that every dollar is getting through to the participants and their families for whom the scheme was originally designed. We want to make sure that this scheme is working in the best interests of participants. Will and Lara and Finn, by virtue of their impairment, shouldn't be excluded from some of the experiences which other Australians take for granted. They and their families and their supporters have been working hard to set them up and give them an opportunity in life which might otherwise be denied to them. The Federal Government's investing $732 million to make sure that the administration of the National Disability Insurance Scheme delivers on the promise of a better scheme for participants. We're optimistic that if we have a better participant experience, then what will happen is that uh, it will help moderate some of the cost growth in the scheme, but through the lens of the best interests of the participant. So some really exciting work being done here on the ground, a message we'll carry back to Canberra as we travel around Australia. Impairment is a fact of life. It can happen at birth, it can happen in the blink of an eye on a country road, it can happen through the onset of ageing. But it shouldn't define a person's opportunities in this lucky country. Labor's committed to making sure the NDIS helps profoundly and severely impaired Australians have a better life. And that's indeed what this scheme's doing here.